Our big story tonight for the first time taking you inside the Troy home where carbon monoxide killed three girls. Today, police released video and interviews recorded immediately after the tragedy last month. Kelly May is here with more. Well, Jack and Deborah, four kids unresponsive. Of course, we know three girls killed by the gas. A boy and his grandmother made it out alive. What we've learned from these new recordings, there is a smell that could have been a warning side. Carbon monoxide is building up, maybe in your home. They say carbon monoxide is the silent killer, but in Troy, a faint smell that when unacknowledged may have saved three lives. It is not good. We're seeing video from Troy police for the first time. Four kids unresponsive inside, poisoned by carbon monoxide gas. So I stopped by and went and saw them and they looked like they were sick. Okay. So I went back. And like I just couldn't, I couldn't wake him up. That's a recorded interview between police and Leon Bishop, the cousin who called 911. When you walked were, in, could yeah. you smell anything? I, yeah, I think I did smell something, but it wasn't like alarming to me. Okay. I thought like um, I thought they cooked something or somebody cooked something before they left. Police called this expert to look at the furnace inside. Here's what he says about that smell. They, they say you can't smell carbon monoxide, but you can smell incomplete combustion. You can smell when something's not burning right. That's what they found was happening inside. Fossil fuel not burning right, a furnace from the 1940s, and blocked chimney creating carbon monoxide and carbon debris. It's that black stuff all over almost everything. It's a combination of all those things made the perfect storm. Exactly. But the expert testifies if someone maybe had noticed the small oddities like smell and soot. In the days leading up, it may have saved the young girls' lives. That could happen in a matter of one year. It could happen in a matter of, of 10 years. Okay. It's, it's not, not a two or three day thing. No. Now, we still haven't heard from the prosecutor if a case will be filed holding someone responsible for the state the furnace and chimney were in that led to the gas. Of course, we'll keep you posted.